The 1.8 trillion euros budget for the EU to use over the next seven years was agreed by EU leaders, but it needs the consent of the European Parliament. A negotiating team of six MEPs will debate a strategy on Tuesday with the rest of the Budget Committee to convince the Council and the Commission to boost programmes that suffered cuts, introduce new sources of revenue and link funding to the rule of law. The most difficult point is to get the 27 EU governments to agree with a setup of a mechanism that will freeze funds for member states that violate the rule of law principles. But the Greens negotiator says that the Parliament will put up a fight. This is really key because it's not just about distributing money, it's about our common values in Europe. And um, on the other side, you have some state leaders like Viktor Orban saying that they can't agree on a strong rule of law mechanism because their fear is that um, they will get budget cuts. Um, yeah, and this is quite complicated and will, will end up be, being one of the most complicated um, and controversial questions left to the end. But there could be legal challenges against the use of such a punitive tool on issues other than corruption, like judiciary reform or freedom of speech. You cannot penalize a country for breaking one rule with a completely different instrument. Uh, also, the kind of people that are penalized is different. You would have to actually manage this idea that uh, countries pay the beneficiaries uh, even if the EU doesn't pay, so you don't penalise the citizens. The Parliament will also try to get more money for programmes that suffered cuts and to repay the debt created by the new recovery fund, with binding commitments to create new taxes. We think that just plastic is not enough, and I think it should be a very clear uh, declaration from the, from the governments which uh, new oil resources and when will be created to have the stable and predictable situation w with, the, uh, with paying back the credit. But this might be too ambitious and the next generation programme could cause complications. It is clear that countries have had problems using the EU funding in the past. Now you have a huge next generation EU budget. There will be complications. There could be some agreement on the Parliament's uh, budgetary control. The Parliament should be uh, uh, involved in budgetary control in, 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 in the programmes. The budget will also have to be approved by national parliaments before coming to force on the 1st of January 2021.